Crown Castle is the US's largest provider of communications infrastructure, connecting people and businesses to essential data, technology, and wireless services. Joining me at Virtual ITW 2020 is Troy Knuckles, Vice President of National Fiber Cell. Troy, thanks a lot for joining me. Um, Thank you very much. You've been in the industry for over 30 years. You've been with Crown Castle for a good amount of time of those 30 years as well. Let's start by talking about Crown Castle and maybe what you do as well in the company. Yeah, th thank you. I, I just to clarify, I've been with Crown Castle for just shy of a year now, so I'm a relative oh, newcomer. Uh, that's okay, but excited to be with the company. It's a great company. As you said, we're the nation's leading provider of uh, communications infrastructure, and we build, maintain, and operate this infrastructure uh, that really supports the world's most advanced technologies. You know, our expansive portfolio and very unique portfolio of cell towers and small cells and and fiber optic cable you know, really provides access for businesses and communities and and individuals um, to every kind of data including you know wireless service that's out there and available um, our customers that we serve are wireless carriers uh, you know traditional telecommunications providers um, content, hyperscale, and, and other technology companies, along with you know every segment of you know general enterprise, provide business to a lot of um, you know government customers, federal, state, local, higher ed, uh, and K through 12, as well as com communities and, and venues of all types. You know we operate exclusively in the United States today, and we operate over 40,000 cell towers, 70% of which are in the in in our country's you know top 100 markets. We operate over 70,000 small cell nodes in about 700 uh, jurisdictions across the United States municipalities, and over uh, 80. We have over 80,000 route miles of fiber uh, across the United States. Um, Crown Castle's got about 5,000 employees, roughly, in the United States, and and um, we recently celebrated our 25th anniversary as a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange. Hmm, that's exciting. Um, but then I just celebrate your birthday as well. This was quite a challenging year um, to, to the whole world, basically. So we're living something that we haven't lived um, in 100 years at least. How did Crown Castle help businesses and the communities it, it serves during the COVID-19 pandemic? And how is it going to carry on helping? Because this is an ongoing um, issue. Yeah, I'll tell you, well, certainly this was an unprecedented and challenging time for all of us. And and it was kind of really an extraordinary time for Crown Castle in, in a number of you know different ways. Um, first, I think we know that as industry transitioned to a work from home environment, you know, data and networking demand exploded um, and and hit an all time high, frankly, in April, as it was reported. Um, you know, we've been working furiously to meet that demand and make sure that we were in a place to meet the, the needs of our customers. Uh, and we've been working overtime to provide, you know, emergency services actually to a lot of our customers, uh, and and found ourselves in the position of turning up service for our customers in in days or in a lot of cases, you know, even hours. Um, you know, the best example of this is is healthcare. Healthcare is is one of the largest segments we serve, if not the the largest vertical for our company. Um, and, you know, the northeastern part of the United States is where we have the, the densest network and, and frankly serve uh, a great majority of our customers and in particular in New York. And as COVID-19 spiked in, in New York, we found ourselves in a position to be able to, you know, really help our healthcare customers out. And we were quite proud that we were able to uh, do everything we could to help meet their needs, both, you know, with the growing bandwidth needs they had in their existing locations uh, as their you know capacity you know went through the roof as well as providing you know kind of immediate services to a lot of the temporary locations that you know we we all saw in the news so it was an extraordinary time and, and we did a lot really across the country not just in the northeast um one of the other things i'll mention is uh crown castle's charitable program that we call connected by good uh mm -hmm. through donations through that program we were able to provide over uh, 55,000 students in need with with both laptops and and uh, mobile hotspots so that they could 
you know, access and study from, in, in a lot of cases, even transitional housing and make sure that they had access to their curriculum and, and could continue, you know, with their schooling. So we were, you know, also quite proud of that. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that sounds very interesting. Um, is it a website that people can go and check it? Oh, well, our Connected by Good program is listed on our Crown, the Crown Castle hmm. web website and, and some of the donations we do. Okay, so it'll be easy to find it. Um, okay, well, let's get this sort of like showcases how essential um, infrastructure is, communications infrastructure is, but how would, how would you sort of explain it on a transformation level? How transformative is communications infrastructure um, in the world we live in? Yeah, well, especially the infrastructure that Crown Castle provides, that unique, you know, portfolio that I mentioned earlier of cell towers and small cells and the combination, you know, of, of fiber optic services is really the foundation for some of the most widely used technologies today, for sure. Definitely, you know, everything wireless. So, you know, texting, email, calling, you know, data and entertainment, you know, every type of traditional business networking today, uh, you know, broadcasting, financial trading, and on and on and on. But that that portfolio of infrastructure is not only, you know, meets the needs of, you know, today's um, technology, but but it certainly will meet, you know, be the foundation for the future as well. Uh, you know, things like Internet of Things and, and um, you know, edge computing, all enabled by 5G technology, which we are absolutely at the core of. You know, we work very closely with our carrier customers as, as well as um, other technology providers, governments and communities to help them deploy these 5G networks that are going to support those advanced technologies. Uh, so that that's really at the core of what we do, and it's going to be revolutionary in the future, as I'm sure everybody's you know very familiar with. They've heard about the 5G technologies, and we're we're really the infrastructure for that. Mm -hmm. and, and then lastly, I'll say that you know with you know the new post COVID-19 world, you know there's going to be a, a a lot of evolution, and our infrastructure will certainly be one of the platforms that that's there and and helping to provide those future innovations. Uh, as far as you know, networking communications again in that post COVID nineteen world, and probably all this was actually happening even faster um, because the pandemic sort of pushed people to really digitize and think out of the box and launch new products and applications and services. Um, do you agree with that? Do you agree that maybe the pandemic is going to speed up technology adoption and innovation um, on a good level? Maybe one of the good things that came out of all this. Most definitely, not not only speed it up, but clearly in new and different and unique ways that we may not have been thinking of before. And, and we're going to have to. We're going to have to, you know, um, respond rapidly. And you know, that's the beautiful thing about Crown Castle's infrastructure. It's you know in place to support that you know rapid evolution and development of you know the, the future technology, mm, for okay. sure. So, and how does Crown Castle sort of provide services through carriers? Yeah, I think, you know, primarily as it relates to, you know, the audience at ITW, again, you know, we, as I mentioned, that the unique uh, set of assets um, that we provide on the fiber side, you know, we have 80,000, over 80,000 route miles of fiber in, in 23 of the top 25 markets in the United States. We have over uh, 27,000, you know, lit buildings in the United States. Um, we provide fiber-based services to over 900, you know, data centers and, and POPs and COs, and we're constantly constructing, you know, more fiber uh, to our customers' locations. That's something, you know, we have a core competency around, and that is, you know, really constructing and managing and maintaining custom-built, you know, fiber networking solutions, you know, for all types of our customers. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say also just real quick that, you know, we operate four geographically diverse network operations centers uh, and we have operations teams that are, you know, really skilled in terms of disaster, both of that disaster preparedness and disaster recovery, you know, providing the highest level of uptime for our customers. And we've kind of developed the reputation in the industry as, as, as one of the companies that really delivers for our customers. We have a customer first and customer obsessed culture at Crown Castle. Um, and we really deliver for our customers, you know, like no other. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do you, just a quick question. Do you have plans to maybe start expanding outside the U.S. as well? Maybe set Not up right now. Somebody Not right now. Okay. Our, all of our, um, you know, all of our investment is is really focused on the United States today. Okay, that's cool. Final question, I promise. How would you describe the state of the market today in one word? 
uh, uh, transitional and it transitional is the word that I would say. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Troy Knuckles from Crown Castle. Um, don't very forget. Welcome. Thank you. Don't forget you can follow Capacity on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram, and also visit the website on www.capacitymedia.com.